Welcome, welcome, welcome to this year's first Trader Joe's pumpkin haul of the season. And I am so pumped because there's a lot of new things. Um, I was saying how I'm getting burnt out about all the pumpkin stuff coming in, but Trader Joe's didn't disappoint once again because there's so many new items that it got me reinvigorated and excited for this week's pumpkin haul. So if you guys are excited to please support the channel by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe. Next week I think is gonna be even crazier with the pumpkin because it just started to trickle in. So let's get right into this week's Trader Joe's haul. I'm going to kick it off right here with the classic go-to pumpkin cheesecake. This is a frozen item. Trader Joe's has been bringing this uh, for I don't know, four, five, six years now? I don't know, can't keep track, but it's been a long time and they keep bringing it back and usually this is something that lasts all the way until the holidays because a lot of people like pumpkin cheesecake for Thanksgiving as well. So if you are interested in it and you wanna pick it up, it's frozen so you don't need to worry about eating it too fast. You just take it out when you're ready to eat it and let it thaw for a few hours on the counter. Now. Guys, yes, the butternut squash mac and cheese is back and I could not have been more excited in this store, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I have been, you know, changing my lifestyle and so I only got two boxes this year, which you know, if you've been watching me, how insane that is. Two boxes of butternut squash and I'm gonna to try to only have two this whole year. We'll see, uh, let me know in the comments if you think I can stick to it. I'll, we'll see if we can, but this is probably my top three favorite items for seasonal pumpkin stuff. I mean, this isn't pumpkin, but one of my top favorite seasonal items that comes in every year. I absolutely love it. This is a brand new product. This is the frozen one. It's the savory squash pastry bites. Now, if it tastes anything like this, I'm going to be totally sold on it. So obviously this is gonna be in the taste test this week. I'm gonna show you guys the back so you can see what it looks like. Now, air fryer is where it's at, and I just appreciate Trader Joe's always adding air fryer instructions now because it just makes all of our lives easier, but definitely we'll be trying this in the taste test this week and seeing how it goes. Um, what other frozen? Okay, so I also grabbed some Spanish rice, big surprise. Another um, a seasonal item that just came in is the pumpkin cheesecake croissants. These were fantastic last year, so if you're somebody that likes to have kind of like a savory, I wouldn't say these are too sweet, but they're more of like the savory style for breakfast. These would be so delicious for like a special morning breakfast, maybe even Halloween morning. Um, and I think that's it for the frozen, so I'm gonna go run these back to the freezer and I'll be right back. Okay, two new cheeses also came in. Actually, I should say one new cheese, one seasonal is back. So this is the white Silton cheese with apple and pear. Um, sounds really interesting and almost like a good cheese to crumble over a salad. So I'm curious to see how this tastes and like how sweet it is and things. So. We'll find out in the taste test. And then another um, very beloved cheese came back in. This is the creamy Toscano cheese with cinnamon. And I talk about this every year and how delicious it is. Some of you guys that have never seen this before might be going, ew, what do you mean cinnamon on cheese? Just trust the process, try it. It's fantastic. It's one of my favorite like weird cheeses. <laughs> I say weird because it just doesn't sound like something that would go together, but it does. And it's delicious with apples, um, but you can also have it with crackers or whatever you want, but it's back. And for those that know, they will run out and buy it because they know how good it is. Now I was out of sourdough for my favorite Smart and Final, um, and I'm not going to make it over there. It's 111 degrees today, so I'm trying not to you know, run out and grab things. So this sourdough is gonna just tide us over. I also grabbed bagels this week. I have no idea. I don't eat bagels, but I was craving some bagels. So Tim and I were like both, yeah, let's do it. So we got some bagels and then I got the onion chive cream cheese for these. I know I showed you guys the pumpkin cream cheese last week, but I don't think that would go well with the everything bagels. So, um, and the pumpkin bagels haven't come out yet. So 
onion chive with everything. Bagel sounds so, I'm hungry right now. That just sounds great. I also grabbed some sour cream. I'm gonna make a couple um, like creamy dressings for my taco salads this week. I needed some more parm, so I grabbed some more parm. I grabbed cilantro, again, for my creamy dressing that I wanna make. Um, and then I got some tomatoes as well. Now to some fun doggy treats. So these are brand new. These are called the Harvest Brunch Turkey, Apple, and Pumpkin Waffle Recipe. They look like little waffles. Um, and my dogs will try these in the taste test as well. As you guys know, you love seeing, um, you love seeing my dogs in the taste test, and so do I. So this is, uh, it says right here, which I kind of appreciate, turkey is the first ingredient, which is great. Um, but here's the back in case you were wondering, anything else for your pet? And then the pumpkin maple bacon flavored stuffy dog treats are back in too. You know, my dogs don't, they like it when I first open this bag, but these dry out really fast. If you guys have purchased these, is there anything you can do to prevent them drying out? I'm talking like two or three days, they're already like, way harder because they come in pretty moist and then they harden up so if you have any tips or tricks i seal it up real good but i don't know let me know um the fall leaf chips are back in these are perfect because i just made pico de gallo and i needed chips and i was like i need to get chips and then i was like oh the fall leaf chips are here perfect so if you needed these you can grab them and they last until thanksgiving if you want to do like a fun fall appetizer for Thanksgiving. These are good until January 6th of 25. So there you go. Also, the pumpkin spice cream liqueur is back in. So I'm about to get into the pumpkin zone. If you guys need to pause the video and get your list ready, I suggest doing that right now. So pumpkin spice cream liqueur. We buy this every year. This is really good, just poured over ice. Tim and I typically like to sip on this on Halloween because it's very festive and it just, it gives us good vibes. So um, it's sweet though and it's pretty thick. So I like to water it down a bit with the ice and it's, sometimes it's almost too sweet for me. So if you need to add like a little, I don't know, something else, you can add some almond milk or something cause it's creamy, that might be a good, kind of addition to let it dilute a bit. So there's that. Now, come on now, you see that pumpkin butter. Pumpkin butter's back and it is, I mean, this is it. Once you see the pumpkin butter, Trader Joe's has officially hit pumpkin season. So that's in. The maple butter's in. This is my old jar from last year. I didn't buy a new one. The new ones are round. Um, I think there's less product in it. Here, this one has nine and a half ounces. You guys can see for yourself. This is sweating because it was in my fridge. Um, you can see for yourself when you go to Trader Joe's if you notice that the round one has less. I think it does because it looked a lot smaller than this Big Daddy. But if you guys were excited about the maple butter, it's back in, just look for a different packaging. Same thing, just different package. Um, the two soups came in as well. These are the she shelf stable soups. They're in glass jars. So we have the pumpkin bisque and then we also have the autumnal harvest soup. Both are interesting. I feel like the pumpkin bisque has like a very mustardy flavor and the autumnal harvest soup tastes a lot like a tomato soup. It is tomato base. So it's a very tomatoey soup with just like a hint of that pumpkin butternut squash flavor. So that's that. The This pumpkin walks into the bar. This is my, my son's favorite. He loves these and the peach ones. Um, but I get these every year and then he wants me to stock up. So I started with one box to see if he is still into them because you know kids, they're fickle. Um, but yeah, we'll see if he likes that. And then of course, had to get some more chocolate chip bars. Now the pumpkin bread and muffin mix is in as well. So all of those bakers out there, get ready because all the baking stuff is coming out from Trader Joe's. And I have some exciting things to show you at the end. Baking things, oh my gosh, Trader Joe's came out with some awesome things. So stay tuned, but here we go, there's that. Then of course, the La Colum Pumpkin Spice Cold Brew. I seriously, when I decide to open this, which will prob probably be, I don't know, maybe even today, um, I just start to get all those fall feelings. I don't know why, but this is like something that just sets it off for me. Do you guys have those things too? Like where you like, just something just triggers you to be like, okay, it's official. I think this is it for me because I worked for Trader Joe's for nine years. And um, when these came out, I would have them. 
uh, at Trader Joe's and I just felt like those fall cozy vibes. So there's that. Um, of course, we've got the pumpkin pancake and waffle mix and the gluten-free version as well. And by the way, there's a gluten-free version of the bread and muffin mix. I just didn't purchase it because I didn't need to. These are left over from last year, so I had these already in my pantry ready to go. Um, but yeah, both versions, there's a lot of gluten-free options that Trader Joe's does for both things, which is fantastic. This is brand new, pumpkin and spice snickerdoodle cookie mix. Now, I wish I could tell you that I'm gonna be trying this in the taste test for you guys, but I am not. I'm saving this mix for um, when I make cookies for the holidays. I love adding like a pumpkin cookie in there. Uh, so that's why I'm going to save them, but I'm sure they're going to be delicious. I love snickerdoodle cookies. Give me all that cinnamon. So I'm curious to see how the pumpkin is with that. Um, so yeah, I, I'm going to hold off on making them. And then maybe when I do make them, I'll do like a supplemental taste test. I don't know how long this product is gonna last though. So if you guys are interested, I would say buy it sooner than later. Now you're probably seeing this. I am the most excited about this, I think this week, of all the things I bought. The pumpkin spice flavored cold brew coffee concentrate. Concentrate meaning that you have to add either water or milk, creamer, whatever, but this is very strong. So you definitely need to water it down. Um, I, there's a funny story when I worked at Trader Joe's, somebody returned the cold brew, not this one obviously, cause this is brand new, but somebody returned a cold brew and said it was like the strongest coffee they ever had and they said it was disgustingly bitter. And we had to explain to them that you're not supposed to just pour it into a glass and drink it, you have to water it down. So. Um, I'm sure there's some people out there that could just chug it and be like totally hulking out, but not me. So here's the nutrition facts and it's really hard to see the ingredients. So you might have to check it out online um, because it is, it's hard to read even without the camera. So anywho, that's, we're going to try this in the taste test as well. Then they came out. So, you know, Trader Joe's has their little holiday kits. This year, they have this, this is a new kit. So it's the orange and spice scented candle and room spritz. The room spritz is now in like this metal metal uh, can and it comes with a orange and spice scented candle. Let's smell this actually. So it opens like this. It's a cute little package if you wanna gift it to somebody. And let's give it a sniff. Oh, wow. Okay, this smells like orange clove. If that's, I mean, I'm not getting, yeah, orange and spice. It's like an orange clove. It smells very good. It almost is very similar to like if you were to make um, one of those, you boil a pot of water with like slices of orange and lemon and um, sticks of cinnamon to make your house smell good. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this candle. So if you like that scent, um, this might be a nice set for you. Trader Joe's had a couple other sets as well that I did not purchase. One of them being the um, candle trio that comes in the three pack with all the fall scents. That is available now. They also had the pumpkin butter scrub. So if you were looking for the pumpkin scrub, maybe it's not butter, but pumpkin scrub. Um, that's also available available. I still am using the one that I bought last year in my <laughs> in my bathroom right now So I don't need I didn't need to get another one um, And I think that's it as far as what I saw at my store I know there's a couple new items coming out too in the body care But this is the only one I found that I that was new So if you're looking forward to that by the way before I move on everyone's gonna say your cats your cats Yes cats um, cannot have these like essential oils. So just be cautious where, if you're wondering where I spray, I spray at the tops of my curtains in my home, like the very tops where the cats obviously aren't getting to, and it really lasts and makes my whole house smell really nice. So that's that. Moving on down here, we've got the two raviolis are back, the pumpkin ravioli and then the gluten-free pumpkin ravioli. They also had the pumpkin gnocchi there. We don't like gnocchi. Um, it just it just doesn't vibe with us. So I opted not to buy that, but it is available if you liked that from last year. Uh, both of these are great, and I think this week in the taste test, I'm gonna do a comparison of the two. I think I probably did this last year, but I wanna do it again, because why not? It's fun. So that's available now. These are refrigerated, by the way. 
the Living in Gratitude kombucha is back in. I love this one. It's the fall edition. It's very, very limited and seasonal. So once you see it and you want to try it, I recommend getting it. They change the label every couple years. So this year it's a really nice um, kind of like Mother Earth looking label, which I love. And then the Perfect Bars. Oh, I thought this was super weird. The other day I noticed that Trader Joe's is selling Perfect Bars again for a lot more than they used to because it used to be like $1.89 for a Perfect Bar and now they're two. 39 or 225 or I don't know. Um, but they have the pumpkin flavor. So I got it for the haul to show you guys. Uh, the milk chocolate bar with cornflakes is back in. This is a seasonal one and this was delicious last year. Honestly, um, I did not know what to expect, but both Tim and I loved it. So if you guys didn't get a chance to try it, I highly recommend. It's really good. Got some pepperoni for my husband. Got him his favorite hot dogs. I got myself some Bolella. This is the best snack ever. I absolutely love it. So I grabbed that. And then let's take a look at some of the alcohol. So they have the Howling Gourds um, beer, pumpkin ale. Woohoo! I'm so excited because I have to be decorating for Halloween soon. And I always crack open a pumpkin beer and put on a scary movie. And it's just like my aesthetic for decorating. And I love it. And I will be filming that too. So um, got that. They also have the KBBC beer, but that one's a little too synthetic for Tim and I. So we, we opted not to get that. But this one's great. Also, they have liquid candy, hazy IPA. Um, this is from Tarantula Hill Brewing Company and it is fantastic. Tim and I have tried this before at Yard House and um, now it's available at Trader Joe's and we were stoked. So we definitely bought a four pack for these because this is a great, great beer. Um, this is probably the weirdest got to be the weirdest thing I've purchased this year. And it's the pumpkin spice Chardonnay. What I've been hearing is do not expect it to taste like Chardonnay at all. It's kind of like a mold wine slash apple juice. Um, we'll try it in the taste test for you guys. Cause I'm sure you're all curious and I'm curious too. I was also told to have this extremely chilled, like borderline frozen. <laughs> so, so I'm kind of nervous because the warnings I'm getting before this product, you know, make me a little whatever. But I guess if you like sweet wine, this might be something you really like and appreciate. But I thought when I first heard about this, I thought this was a joke, but it's not. Um, they also brought back the dearly beloved Ivy Red. This is their Halloween wine. So um, there's a bunch of Halloween wines that Trader Joe's carries. And I think they're year round too, like Moon X and stuff. Um, but I like having these for our Halloween party. It's fun to have the festive wine bottle. So I grabbed that. Now this is an interesting product right here. This is called Purity Spritz. I got pulled in by the bottle because it's absolutely gorgeous and the color of this, whatever it is, I don't even know what it is. Um, <laughs> it's it maybe a liqueur, um, but anyways, so it says it's a Mediterranean citrus and it has delicious blend of grapefruit, grapefruit, bergamot, and orange. And what I thought was so fun about this is that you're supposed to add bubbly. So it says you can add kava or soda. So if you don't, don't want to have like extra, add champagne or Prosecco, just add bubbles, add tonic or mineral water. So you don't have to go crazy boozy and, you know, do two boozes. You could do sparkling water, which actually sounds probably really refreshing, but it says 50% purity spritz, 50% champagne Prosecco or tonic water. So of course, because I got this, I had to get a bottle of champagne because I want to try it with the sparkling. Actually, this is Prosecco. And um, I just figured, why not do this in the taste test? How fun to see what this drink is all, all about. So that's why I grabbed that. And then to some really awesome new products that Trader Joe's just bought out, brought out for baking. Um, I can't think about turning on my oven today, but for future reference, they have almond paste now, which um, this is heavy. This almond paste is really, it's full, the whole thing. Um, and so I'm not going to be opening this until I'm ready to bake, but that's an exciting product to see. And then look what they brought. I think Trader Joe's used to carry these years and years ago, 
but they have the, they did, they were in a jar though. Uh, these are the bourbon vanilla beans and they're a whole vanilla beans that you have to scrape out yourself. So you know you're gonna have the best quality baking um, all around town, girl. So anyway, I'm excited about these two things. I think these are gonna be game changers for my baking once it starts to cool down and I can make something. And then last, but certainly not least, I had to get my savory squares because I went like a week without them and I can't lie, I was kind of devastated. <laughs> so that's it guys, this was a lot of stuff. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for being a part of it and I hope you guys are ready because this is just the beginning, okay? Just the beginning and by the way, these pumpkins are from Aldi. I just put out an Aldi haul if you want to see more about those. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this year and, you know, the season has begun. So let's party. Let's get into it. And I cannot wait to see you all in the taste test tomorrow. Have a good one and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.